Introducing the ETOF LiDAR. ETOF is new site imaging's patented enhanced time of flight technology that provides accurate 3D measurement, indoor and outdoor with unparalleled results. The ETOF LiDAR is new site's reference design for client evaluation. It's small sized, durable for different weather and lighting conditions, and has a low power consumption. In front of us, we have the ETOF LiDAR packaging as it's received by our customers. Once we remove the protective layer, we can see the interior of the package. The customer receives a Type-C connecting cable and the ETOF LiDAR itself. This compact device could easily be attached to any tripod or stand. Once set up, the device should be connected to the computer with a Type-C cable. When the ETOF LiDAR is connected, we launch the demo tool that was provided by NewSight. The first step will be to define the chip type to MCU1000. The ETOF parameters are set using the PRM file provided by NewSight. Under File, we will define the config file provided by NewSight. The LiDAR can now be activated by simply pressing play. In front of us, we can see the outputs of the scan. On the top, we have the color-coded view. The scale colors indicate distance, red being the nearest and blue being the furthest. You can see how the objects in front of the device are clearly indicated with the color coding. Beneath, we also see the grayscale view that can portray black and white 3D output, as well as a 2D black and white image. On the same screen, we're also able to see the distance value that changes dynamically when you select a particular pixel. The demo tool also enables the user to withdraw the value of the pixel. You can switch between lines to receive the pixel value and choose all display images to receive the full chip data. user can capture frames of data and control them under the Log File tab and later view them under Open Log File. Another feature of the demo tool is the ability to create a ply file that generates a point cloud. Clicking a Create Ply File and set the number of loops. This is the point cloud extracted from that frame. The next feature we'll demonstrate will be the capturing of a moving object. As you can see, the closer the cup gets to the device, the more red the output becomes, and the distance value decreases constantly.